Hi guys, so I wanted to show you how I'm going to write my story. It's fiction and my dogs and I are going to be trapped in a snow globe. So here's how I'm going to start. I think I'm going to make the font maybe 16 and eh, maybe 18. Let's see if that works. Okay. Uh, one. Oops, that's not. One winter night, I took my dogs for a walk. So that's the setting. We know it's a, a night in winter. I'm going to add some details. We could feel the snow crunch. You know, it's going to be tricky to type on this. No, it's not going to work, is it? Underneath our feet. Ooh, and I spell underneath wrong. I can fix that later. I wonder if I make the font even bigger. It'll fit on the lines. Hmm, that works actually a little bit. If I made it a slightly, maybe 26 isn't an option. Hmm. Hey, 30 works. Okay, so if you decide to type, you might want to try using a 30 font. Okay, I'm going to read this again. One winter night, I took my dogs for a walk. We could feel the snow crunch underneath our feet. But hmm, suddenly we actually I'm not going to have but suddenly I realized we were trapped in a snow globe exclamation. Okay. That's my first paragraph. So the problem is we're trapped in a snow globe. Then in the middle of the story, I'm gonna leave some white space. So that's my first paragraph. That's the beginning of the story. In the middle of the story, I'm gonna say, before I could panic, the dogs pulled me towards a huge candy cane nation. It was made out of dog treats, exclamation. They happily clobbered, comma, munched, comma, and crunched away. I think if I make this box a little, oh, no. Okay. Oh yeah, I can make it a little longer. All right. Now, when you're writing a story, I know it's gonna take you quite a bit longer than me, and it does not need to be this long. It can be very, um, very short. I'd like it to have a beginning, middle, and end. But good writers reread their work and see if it makes sense. One winter night, I took my dogs for a walk. We could feel the snow crunch underneath our feet. Suddenly, I realized we were trapped in a snow globe and I'm checking for punctuation. Before I could panic, the dogs pulled me towards a huge candy cane. That must be two words. It was made out of dog treats. They happily slobbered munched and crunched away. Okay, so that is my second paragraph. Let me turn and leave some room. My third paragraph is my ending. And I'm gonna say, just then, comma, the wind began to blow, period. 
no world in the sky. Ooh, alliteration. Snow swirled in the sky. All those S's sound kind of cool. I couldn't see anything except anything but white. Exclamation. I closed my eyes. Mm. I'm going to add how I felt. I felt scared. Um, so I closed my eyes. When I opened them, everything was calm. Period. We were back in our house. The dogs were laying by the cozy fire. What an adventure! Exclamation. All right. So that's my story. I know um, that's probably a bit longer than yours will be. If you can just think of some fun, exciting, adventurous things that happen. I'd love to read it. And I'm going to read it one more time and make sure it makes sense. One winter night, I took my dogs for a walk. We could feel the snow crunch underneath our feet. Suddenly, I realized we were trapped in a snow globe. That's right, underneath is spelt wrong. Ooh, I forgot the D. Look at that. Before I could panic, the dogs pulled me towards a huge candy cane. It was made out of dog treats. They happily slobbered, munched, and crunched away. Just then, the wind began to blow. Snow swirled in the sky. I could not see anything but white. I felt scared, so I closed my eyes. When I opened them, everything was calm. I think I need a comma after that. When I opened them, everything was calm. We were back in our house. The dogs were laying by the cozy fire. What an adventure by, don't forget to put your name down there, Miss Porter. So have fun with it, and I'm looking forward to reading your stories.